Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, when I want hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, jugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm a Hey yo! It's Poppy on we're Jay right? We're back. Some more bleach on gentlemen. Run up to 209, I think. And last time we had the boy Sosuke. The boy Aizen. Aizen or Lieutenant Aizen at this time. Uh grooming the kid, Ichimaru. Again. You feel me? It was grooming Ichimaru, man. Um, you know, obviously Ichimaru, you know, they're talking about him in the episode. You know, he was being a prodigy and stuff like that. He's a little younger than Byaki at the time. Um, and you know, he was already guaranteed a spot in the you know 13 court squad. So, you know, my guy has potential. Um, and obviously we see eyes in there grooming my man, you know, already confronted my man, and you know, he said, How was our third seat? And the dude, we just saw the dude's body, and he's dead. Ichimaru killed the third seat. Like my guy eyes and like damn. You feel me? You, you feeding him you feeding him freaking bodies? Like he he fuels his hunger by killing people or something like that, bro. Like damn. But um, you know, obviously, you know, their relationship current day, you know, nice and coming to him at such a young age makes sense though, right? Um, so you know, and it seems like we're having a time skip here a little bit, right? Um at the end of the, at the end of the episode there. And it seems like we're heading towards some sort of incident that's gonna take place. So I wonder what that's gonna be. I mean from what I'm assuming it may be is obviously at the end of the, um, at the end of the episode we saw some people freaking exploding or something like that or turning into something. I feel like I feel like this is gonna end with freaking Hiroko and some of the visors that are you know visors current day. They're gonna obviously turn into I guess hollows essentially. That's how I feel like it's gonna take uh, uh, take place here. That's what that's what I think is gonna happen. You know I feel like they gotta show that. You know I got, they gotta show how even why Hiroko is even obviously not a captain right now. In the first place right you know something has to happen to him in this uh, flashback i'm assuming right so and obviously him becoming a obviously hollow and i feel like that's gonna happen with the rest of the people that are advisors to this day right um by this current day of course so and that's why things gonna take place um but yeah you know eyes and he's scheming um you know behind hiraku's bag which is crazy how um he's obviously hiraku's lieutenant um um but you know we did just get more of uahara and him heading to the maggot's nest and you know with uh, Hirori, you know, them building their relationship more. And we also saw Mayuri, who locked up in a maggot's nest. Um, you know, very interesting. Um, you know, obviously, he is a creepy dude, you know what I'm saying? He is suspicious. <laughs> and I could lie, he looked different. You feel me? But, you know, um, Uhar was, you know, trying to get his help, you know, to be, uh, you know, second in, in command for the research uh, development department, uh, you know, for his whole society, right? Um, and obviously, we know now that, obviously, Kurosuchi is, uh, um, is you know, the head captain of Urahara's squad, right? Um, so, and he also heads the that research department as well, of course, right? So, you know, but Urahara didn't die though. He just ex got exiled out from social society. But, um, you know, he obviously took over. So that was cool um, to see, you know, somebody that was in that position to actually one day become a captain. Like, that's kind of fire. Um, we, we, we also saw Byakia when he was younger. We saw, obviously, him training with Yoruchi. Um, you know, obviously, that was already told to us that Yoruchi used to, you know, teach him, play tag with him and stuff like that um, in Flash Step, of course, right? Um, and it was cool to see him. And he was clearly different from how he is now, you know. He, he was quick-tempered, like they said, right? Doesn't seem to be the case, uh, you know, present day, of course, right? My man has pretty much no emotions. He shows no emotions in the battlefield at all. For real talk, he really shows no emotion, so he's clearly changed. Um, and I guess he's improved on his weakness of having a quick temper, of course. But you did see Byaki's grandfather, too, uh, the head of the Kuchiki family at the time, I'm assuming. And he's the captain. Um, and obviously, Byaki is already, you know, next in line to become the next head of the Kuchiki family. So, you know, that's interesting. Obviously, we still, there's still four great noble clans. Um, we know a couple of them. We, think we, know, we, know, th we know three of them, right? We got Ganju, the Shibas, right? Uh, of the Kuchiki and uh, the Shihoin or Yoruchi's clan, whatever you call it, right? Uh, there's still, you know, we're still missing one, I think. From my knowledge, we still don't, we, we're still missing one. We still haven't uh, gotten introduced to the last one yet, so you know, I wonder what that is. But obviously, there's a bunch of people with, you know, like there's there's lots of people that I'm assuming that aren't part of noble clans that are just extremely strong in soul society anyway, right? Um, you know, even Eisen, I don't know if Eisen's part of any noble clan or anything like that, but he's extremely strong. Um, you know, Ichimaru, he's a prodigy, 
and stuff like that so and i don't know if he's part of noble clan or not but he's already extremely strong so you know it goes to show you that just not it doesn't matter if you're in a noble clan or not you can still actually just be pretty strong and pretty hacks but um you know i think we are still missing one so that's gonna be very interesting to see um uh, what that's about and obviously ichigo you know his relationship to soul society because we know he does have some sort of relation relationship there because of his dad right his dad used to be a soul reaper and he may have been a captain right because you know we do see my man have some sort of it looks like he has a captain room with him every time he's in his soul reaper form so you know that's interesting right uh you know his uh, whole family history and family line in soul society what would that look like right i'm sure he had a grandfather and stuff like that and who knows maybe his grandpa was a captain his great grandpa was a captain like you know that you know definitely going to be interesting once we learn more about it um i'm assuming you know we still haven't seen ichigo's dad and you know i wonder if he's in this back wonder where is um, did ichigo dad did Ichi did ichigo's dad get teleported to soul society with the rest of kawa Kar town i wonder if he did you know i wonder if he really did that or he's gonna decide to help i really i really wonder about that but um you know but obviously we're gonna have to see more and you know we're, we're gonna see what's gonna pop up in this flashback since we're leading up to some sort of incident that's about to pop off so you know with that being said though we're just gonna hop straight into it man let's go bro look at this man sosuke out here raising demons man out here raising demons nine years okay look at that freaking red moon we had naruto damn Oh, chill. What's happening to you? What happened to these people? Did they turn into hollows or something? Did Aizen make them go hollow or something? Right, look, they're forming a mass, it looks like. They got that white foam. I'm gonna come. Oh. <laughs> Damn. They, wait, what you, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. What just happened to them? Hold on. Did I, did I see that correctly? They start forming a mass and then they just exploded and there's no hollows. They just disintegrated. So was it a failed experiment maybe? <laughs> excellent are you just smiling like that bro why why are you just smiling because of that bro you just that's murder you crazy bastard the the soul society who are we looking at who's who's causing all this attention oh hiroko bro you're freaking lieutenant sus kurosuchi man look at him told you to be less casual with me and call me kurosuchi hey that's what i call you most of the times hear about that story about what story damn he kicked her. damn she okay she's already been aggressive with hiroko <laughs> just kick, kicking a captain like that Bro, Aizen, protect your captain, bro. <laughs> Look at him acting all innocent. Look, he's talking he talking so softly. Captain Uhara, have you heard? Violent deaths in the Rukon district. Hey, you probably did that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's probably you, Aizen. Why are you asking him about it? You probably the one that caused those deaths. Residents of the Rukon district have been disappearing. <laughs> They're literally disappearing. Yep, that's Aizen's doing. The clothes we're wearing would disappear as well. Okay. Unable to retain human form. Wait, okay. If Aizen, if, okay, if Aizen is doing this, right, he's the one that's obviously doing all the vanishing of the bodies and stuff like that. He's all clearly leaving traces for somebody to figure out what's going on, so he has to be doing that on purpose as well, <laughs> you know, to get an investigation going, right? Squad 9 is already there to investigate. This music, the flute? Oh, damn. <laughs> Look at the squad, bro. Damn, they all got white coats? He's like, shut your ass up, woman. <laughs> you just lazy. You don't want to do no work? Oh snap, who's this? Whose man is this? What's with that drip? Hey bro, his squad is the drippiest. I'm not gonna lie. The lieutenant's wearing a black to differentiate. Silence! I kill you! Oh, whose man is this? Oh, that's a scream? That sounded like a... The hell? Is that 6 9 is that a, is that a young 6 9 I don't know about that. <laughs> Looks like it though. Oh my god, that's like an elephant. <laughs> if I know... Is that a young 6 9 But I can't yell, my legs won't move. Hey, you better move. <laughs> Go. Man, stab yourself with kunai. Move! Why are they moving so slow? <laughs> bro, you're behind them! You were telling them to run faster. You get your ass moved. Oh, never mind. He Okay, he's taking initiative. Okay, I see you. Is this 6 9 Is this that snitch? Man is whacking his tail with a freaking stick, bro. Bro. Help. Come on, Kensei. You're ugly. You God, that thing is ugly. <laughs> and save this kid! Oh, he pulling out his Zanpak toe. Okay. Oh, his squad got a formation. Damn. Damn! Okay, we- Oh my god, we cutting it up. Imagine just tossing it in his mouth. Bruh, stop! Okay, the captain's gonna come in and do something saucy, watch. Damn! Cut your tongue, boy! That glizzy! Like, what the hell? Whose foot is this? Bruh, that's just menacing. Why are you coming- Why are you standing over him like that, though? <laughs> you don't wanna die, do you? Damn, I'm gonna take this myself. This is my opponent. Oh my god, it's music, okay. Hey, blast away. Shikai? Bankai? Tashi- Okay, Shikai. Damn! The hell? His handle turned black. Okay, music, hey. He's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, animation. Oh my god, he got threads? Excuse me? Oh my god, he just cut his ass off. Damn. 
Yo, homie saucy. I'm gonna split them, split them apart like Legos. <laughs> now look at him just gracefully falling down. That's gotta be 6 9 Look, sure. It's gotta be him, man. <clears throat> man, he on his knees. Stop crying, bro. Did his, one of his friends die? <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember 6 9s name. Hisagi. I, I, I forget. I don't know if that's his name or not. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. Give him, give him some Skittles. Maybe he'll stop crying. The clothing of the kid? Oh, a Shihaku show. Is this the part of the incident of people just disappearing out their clothes? Yep. Damn. <laughs> Y'all next. <laughs> look, look at his eyes, bro. He freaking the hell out. Number in the advanced party. Okay, so they were just taken out just now. Oh my god. Even the freaking boots. Or the whatever, the socks and the, the, the sandals. <laughs> Contact central. Ooh. And then pathogen. Oh. He thinks it's a pathogen. <laughs> Oh my god, it's music! Guitar! We'll set up camp here today. Ah, that's not a good idea. Get your ass moving. Get, get your ass moving. What you what you doing? Ooh, 6 9 It is 6 9 Hey, okay, it is 6 9 Okay, this is where he got his snitching antics from. I see. <laughs> that's where he got the tattoo, bro. Just like that one kid that copied Renji tattoo. They look up to some people. Some of these Soul Reapers. If I get that tattoo, will I become a snitch too? <laughs> Dang, is this uh, Urahara's place? Oh, Kurosuchi. Hurry up, asshole! <laughs> what? He, he's demanding it? <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, it's her. <laughs> you worm. <laughs> it's a turn off. Um, I don't think she's trying to turn you on, though, anyway. You're third. Okay, we know you're the lieutenant. You're a laboratory chief. Mmm. Like, get your facts straight. The hell he got behind his ass? Is that a mummy? <laughs> Damn, it's hot and well. Prototype of my new of a new gig guy. Oh boy, <laughs> a bird of disintegration into a human mold. At least you're trying to help some people. Or you know his experiments bite him in the ass. Look at this man, bro. For the time being. Please go there. Oh, you're saying you're worried there? I don't know. If that's a good idea. Shut your stupid. And I quit being a lieutenant. Oh, they, oh, okay, okay. This dude's saucy. Okay. <laughs> you can take it even from the captain's office. <laughs> Look at her. Like, this is a big responsibility. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, we got fire. We got torches. What's going on here? Oh, this is the campsite. We got people watching on guard 24-7. Damn. Oh, he came in out hella saucy. Okay, so we taking breaks. We taking shifts. Damn. He he did he just came in there and just like, nah, we ain't doing that. Look at 6-9, bro. This this captain's a snitch. What you thinking about? The hell? Oh my god, his lieutenant, bro. Your collar is open. Oh damn. I'm holding me. Hell, oh, somebody get cut up. Okay, hold up. I should be Ichimaru or somebody. Or was it that dude that was, uh, you know, against the, the watch thing? Or never mind, it's this guy. Why? <laughs> oh, never mind. Toto got cut up too. Okay. Okay, watch it watch be like freaking Ichimaru or freaking Tosin just shows up or something like that. Watch. Nico Mashiro, you should be focusing on yourself, bro. Damn, he just, he just he can't even see the enemy? They're wearing an invisible cloak? What's good? <laughs> That's Tosin. That's gotta be Tosin. That Bon Kai? Already? This way, this way back in. That's Tosin. That's gotta be Tosin. That's him. That's that's him. That's gotta be Tosin. That's Tosin. Ain't no way. But already, if that is. Oh, that to be continued. Boy, okay, bro. Bro, that's gotta be Tosin, man. That Bon Kai, that dome Bon Kai, you know, every, all your senses are just taken out and it's just pitch black. But if that is Tosin, though, which I think it is, right? That's, that's interesting. The dude already has a Bon Kai and he's not even a captain. Nine years has passed, so there may still there may be a new captain or somewhere. I don't know, right? But my man already has a Bunkai, not even a captain yet, though. But Tosin, um, you know, he clearly making a movie, taking out Squad Nine. Um, so what's good with that? And I think Hirori, Hirori, uh, should come, should be coming there soon as well, right? Um, so that's not good, <laughs> you know, that's not good. Um, you know, something bad is probably gonna happen to her as well. Um, if she gets involved here, um, especially with Tosin there, of course, right? So you know, damn. Um. You know, obviously, with this whole incident taking place here, um, it seems like they want people to investigate it, right? Um, you know, obviously, I'm pretty sure Eisen's the one heading all of this and stuff. And with Tosin killing people, you know, probably, you know, that is the case, right? Uh, he's on heading heading this, uh, you know, people disappearing act and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just wondering why he's leaving traces of, like, why he's not, you know, Covering the trash and, you know, picking up the outfits that are left behind of the people that are vanishing, right? Why is that not happening? And what is he even doing with them? 
you know obviously we saw that um in the beginning of the episode we saw the people that did disappear had some white phone coming out their mouths like they were trying to become a holler or, or something like that and you know as i've said you know i feel like this uh flashback is uh obviously going to show us probably hiroko he he already um you know love and obviously the rest of the people that are advisors today you know become you know hollows and visors and you know these may just be failed experiments i don't know right but i feel like that's how just flashback is you know it's gonna it's gonna head into right um and obviously maybe eyes is doing that they became that in the first place right of course um so you know again very interesting you know i'm excited to see what's gonna pop off here obviously we see Urhar trying to make a new gig guy you know it's nothing good <laughs> you know saying him and gig guys you know it's not not a good luck um you know i think i'm pretty sure he was exiled for a gig guy right that's that's when the original was exiled from Soul Society was because he made some sort of gig guy, um, so you know he can make an experiment, but you know he, you know he he does you know his experiments did bite him in the ass eventually, you know especially with the Hoga Ka and stuff like that, you know he got a little too crazy with them, but um, you know it's cool to see Kurosuchi in the lab with him and stuff, you know Kurosuchi, you know they're a good pair, um, and obviously they are a good pair because we obviously saw what they did in the present day with you know that whole you know plan to move uh, Kurokara Kawakura. Wherever that town is that Ichigo lives in, to Soul Society, of course, with those big four pillars and stuff. You know, that was a collaborative effort on on their part, of course, right? Um, um, and you know, and also this episode, uh, you know, Squad Nine, you know, their their squad's kind of drippy. I'm not gonna hold you, man. Their squad's real drippy, man. Um, you know, obviously they they have a different type of swag to them because they're all wearing white coats and stuff, and their lieutenant's the only one that's wearing black. So you know, that's very different. You know, their the squad low key drippy, but um, you know. I'm just wondering, what's the point of doing all of this, though, right? What's Aizen trying to gain from doing this? Like, I'm not sure, right? Um, how I'm thinking about it is, like, you know, he's probably going to turn Rocco and the rest of them into advisors. Um, and, like, what for what purpose would he do that, though, right? Like, why would he even go there to, you know, turn them into some sort of creature or monster? Like, you know, like a visor or a hollow. Like, what? why would he do something like that, you know? Like, I don't understand why that would be the case. If, he, if that is what he's trying to do, right? Um, and obviously, if it is, he clearly succeeded, right? Um, but, um, that's to me, um, and obviously this is, uh, pretty early on, right? Um, you know, this is back in the day, and, you know, I don't know if he's just testing stuff out back here, right? Or if he was, like, if he already had a plan in mind, right? And I don't know how far, I mean, he's clearly sus, right? Man's been clearly sus for a very long time. Very long time he's been sus, um, been sus, so... You know, he, he has to have a, a plan in mind, and obviously he's kind of obsessed with the royal family, it seems like, you know, at the beginning of when this flashback first started. He's very shook about, you know, that Squad 12 captain, or Ukifine, Ukifine, or whatever, you know, her name is, right? Um, You know, obviously going into the Royal Guards or something like that, Squad Zero, right? He's very shook about that. So he clearly has an interest in, there, in, in, you know, that side of things, right? So I don't know if he's... Like, you know, he may have had the plan of, you know, creating the Oaken way back then. I don't know, right? It's just like, I don't know when he actually, like, formulated the concrete plan of what he actually wants to do. You know, it may have been here, right? You know, it may have taken thousands and hundreds of years of planning just to achieve whatever he's trying to achieve, right? And obviously, present day, you know, obviously wants to create the Oaken and, you know, I guess somehow maybe kill the Soul King or something, right? Um, and kill the, uh, you know, the leader of Soul Society, which, um, you know... I don't know if that's what he really wants to do, right? That's what the show's telling us, and obviously that's what he's kind of telling us, right? And that's from what the clues we found, and that's, like, what we inferred he's trying to do. So, you know, he may not be trying to do that. He may be trying to do something completely different, right? But we just don't know yet, you know? It's, like, like we're going to have to see it, you know, to see it, you know? Because I don't think he would just tell us his plans flat out and be like, oh, I'm doing this, try and stop me, but I'm actually going to do this instead instead of doing that, Right? Like, I feel like that would be the case of what's going to play out. But, you know, you know we're obviously going to see time will tell. But, um, you know, and the next episode, though, what's going to happen, though, right? Um, You know, Hiyori may be making an appearance. You know, she may see Tosin. I don't know. You know, her going there, you know, may conf she may, uh, you know, assuming that's Tosin, right? She may confront Tosin. Um, and, you know, that could definitely turn into a bad situation. Um, Obviously, it's not concerning. It's not like she's going to die or anything, right? Um, You know, obviously, she's alive uh, present day, so... That's not going to happen, but, um, obviously there's something wrong for her. She's a, a damn visor, right? But, um, you know, she's obviously, she may, you know, confront Tosin. So, you know, what's that going to look like? What's going to happen there? Is Tosin going to kill her or not we'll try to kill her, I guess, right? If she, you know, makes a move, because she's obviously going to see bodies all over the place, you know, 
But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be very interesting to see what's going to uh, take place uh, here, though, of course, right? Um, and, you know, what is the purpose of killing the squad, of course? You know, why is Tosin doing these things and stuff? You know, why is why is it so important? Or they're just killing people without, you know, they're just killing people, right? And, you know, what's the whole purpose of making people investigate this, uh, you know, situation, you know? Because, you know, I feel like they wanted an investigation to happen, of course, right? You know, leaving the traces and stuff. So, you know, what's the purpose behind that, of course? Behind that. So, there's a couple there's a couple questions, Um, you know, things that need to be answered. And, you know, they may not be answered, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be um, a very interesting sight to see, you know, the rest of Hirori and the lieutenant. Uh, if she makes it in time, of course, you know, she just, you know, there, you know, she could, Hirori uh, could just come there and everybody just dead or something like that. You know, maybe their bodies vanish. I don't know. You know, maybe they do whatever they were doing and, you know, their bodies just vanish somehow, right? Um, that she could come back to this clothes everywhere, you know, or she could just come back to dead bodies, right? Um, you know, we're definitely going to have to see though, right? Um, so it's going to be very interesting sight next episode. So with that being said though. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, man. Yeah, stay tuned. Some more Blue John Town, man. Peace.